Hey there everybody, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install WeLink24, the service that brings back Japanese channels like the Demay channel and Wii Room channel, and soon the Digicam Print channel in its entirety. I'm hoping, I don't know, it's somewhat working I guess, but it'll be back soon I guess. But yeah, I'll be showing you how to install this service. So you'll need an SD card, a Wii with an internet connection, a Windows or Unix based computer, and the Wii link patcher, which I'll provide a link in the description to the GitHub link. Okay, so you're going to want to download the WAD. So the first thing you do after you download the WAD, you have to grab the downloaded WAD file and place it into your SD card's WAD folder. So let's see did it work yeah there it is wheeling patcher <clears throat> so I'm pretty sure that's all we have to do already yeah so I'll I'll be back through my phone on my Wii okay so we're back on the Wii sorry I just checked my mail <clears throat> so we're back on the Wii so the next thing you're gonna want to do is first of all you're gonna need a wad manager so that's the first thing you should do install a wad manager which i recommend we mod light and that's what i'm going to be using in this video <clears throat> but launch launch the homebrew channel and then load your wad manager and then hold on okay so once this loads you're going to want to go to wad manager pick the we sd slot and find the Wii Link Patcher, and this is gonna be um, different depending on if you're using a Wii Wii for a Wii U, or if you're using a regular Wii. So once it installs, you're just gonna wanna go back to the home menu and launch the Patcher application. So we're just gonna head back to the system menu. <clears throat> Here we go. So now we have the wheeling patcher. So we're going to start the wheeling patcher. Okay, so we're going to install all of them and you're going to want to select Oh, okay, wait, hold on. I need to turn on my internet. Hold up. Okay, let's try this again. I relaunched the app. So now you select your language after selecting the app, and then it's going to install the um, WAD from the WeLink website, I'm guessing. Something like that. So once the WAD's done installing, it should give you an option to continue. So I'm just going to wait for that. So guys, I just noticed I made a mistake. The Demay channel is not available to the public as of right now, so it's not an option to be downloaded. But... The Wii Room and Digicam print channels are currently available for download, with um, the TV No Tomo channel and the Demay channel still in progress right now. With TV No Tomo, I'm pretty sure without any progress, so yeah, that's kind of sad. Um, the DS version of Wii Room is also in the same state of the TV No Tomo channel, so... Yeah, but the DS version is obviously exclusive to the DS, so yeah. After this, I'm pretty sure we have to return... Um, pretty sure when we return to the Wii menu, it should have our new apps. But the problem is they won't function until we install the next part of the application, which is the thing that actually patches it with um, the new service. So here, let's place it down here, and boom, we have Wii Room and Digicam Print. So yeah, cool, I'll be right back on my PC. Okay, so next, this is this tutorial is going to continue for anyone on Windows. Anyone using a Unix system is going to have to follow the Unix part of the tutorial, which if you're using a Unix system, I'll link this guide in the tutorial. But you're also gonna, or in the description, but you're gonna want to download wheelinkpatcher.bat and run it. So, the first thing you wanna do 
grab the Wii Link Patcher dot bat. So, actually, first you're gonna hold on. Okay, you're gonna want your SD card ready, and you're gonna want to insert your SD card into your system, which, as you can see, I just did. Okay, so next you're gonna want to go to wherever you have the patcher. So I have the Wii Link 24 patcher. I'm following the tutorial as I'm going because I've never done this before. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. <laughs> okay, so you're then gonna um you're then gonna open this and press one to start and enter. So it's gonna check for updates. And then you're gonna wanna do install Wii Link 24 on your Wii with one. And then it'll ask for a region, press one for English, or that's for language, or press two for Japanese. Okay, so then once your um, SD card is inserted, you're gonna press one to continue. And then you're gonna wanna make sure that the drive letter is proper. So the best way to verify this go t back to your file explorer and look for the drive num or for the drive letter mine is drive letter d and it found drive letter d so we're going to choose one to start patching so it's now going to download um the files we know ma um which i'm pretty sure is okay so it's downloading the files and then it's going to get other stuff so yeah we're going to have to wait a second here for it to download i'm just going to pause the video for now Okay, so, we're back. It has successfully installed, so we're gonna press 2 and press enter. It'll now close the patcher, so just let it automatically close just to be safe. Okay, so the final thing you're gonna wanna do is check if the spot where you have the patcher pr put all this here. If it didn't automatically copy this, then you're gonna want to go to the root of your SD, so you're going to want to do this and copy it to the root of your SD, accept any file merge prompts, and then it'll install it. So then after that, um, it should tell you to put your SD back in the Wii, and that's where I go next. So I'll be back on the Wii. Okay, so here we are back on the Wii menu, so we need to launch the homebrew channel. Press start. Okay. So then you're going to launch Wii Mod Lite. And then you're going to, once it loads, you're going to go back to the WAD Manager. So WAD Manager, Wii SD slot. Now, you want to install this file first, Wii Link 24 SPD. If you are not using a Japanese region Wii, you have to do this first. So install this first. So once the WAD installs, we can continue. Like I said, this is very necessary. You need to install the Wii Link 24 underscore SPD first. So now you're just going to go to any of the channels that say we speak at the or not we speak we link at the end you see that we link 24 we know ma english so we're gonna huh yeah we're gonna install the we know ma so it's just quickly gonna do that it's also gonna um it's quickly gonna replace the stuff like the old apps we downloaded with the patched versions which at that point I really don't see the point, but I'm guessing these patched versions are basically like updates. Sort of like the photo channel, how it has an update available in the Wii Shop. So basically you just want to download each and every one of the Wii Link 24 files. So let me just look here. What other files are there? Um I actually, oh, here, Digicam Print Channel. This should be the last one. And once you install that, 
we're good. Hold on, I'm gonna pause while this downloads. Okay, I just noticed I didn't download it um, the way I was supposed to, which it specifically wants you to install it by selecting all of the Wii Link apps, but I don't think it's necessarily necessary. <laughs> So, obviously, you do the SPD first, but then you would select Winoma and the Digicam print channels, but I'm pretty sure since they're both just patches, it doesn't really matter. Okay, yeah. So then you're gonna go back to the homebrew channel, and then you're gonna go back to the home menu now, so exit to system menu. Okay, the next step, you're going to want to open the Digicam print channel. So start the Digicam print channel. And this is where we're going to put in an information, an email. Okay, yes. So we're going to put in information here, which is an email, so that it can download even more files and also send us um, files for... Um, Digicam print downloads and stuff. So yeah. Just gotta let it load. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. I had to try this again because my internet broke out of nowhere. Okay, let's try this. There we go, we're in. So now it wants me to access um, the address settings. So now, it's now gonna make me enter some stuff. So hold on, I'm gonna enter the stuff. Okay, I'm back. Hold on, I need to switch my hand. So I pressed the done button after I was done entering the information. So you press this, then you wanna head back to the Digicam channel. So you want to choose, huh, so, okay, apparently there's something we have to do next, I'll be right back. Okay, wait, never mind, I was just reading it incorrectly. We're done, that's the whole tutorial. Now I'm gonna try something. Apparently it's supposed to give you free everything, I heard. 20 me's were found. <laughs> Okay, congratulations on the free everything. Valid from now until the server crashes. Okay, let's agree. Because business cards handle personal information, when you return to the Wii menu or power off the console, you cannot continue. Okay, which card will we choose? Uh, I think I'm gonna choose this one. No. We will pop that up there. Um, oh, what the? No! No, I don't want that. I Please stop. I just want to type. Oh, whatever. Since you will only go in Japanese, we'll just do bra with a Japanese letter. Okay, and confirm. Yeah, we'll- oh. Why must I do 30 sheets? Price confirmation, me card, 100 yen. More like free. Subtotal- Bruh, a million yen, ah oh, yes. Uh, emails within 1 to 10 minutes. Okay, <laughs> go. Yes, we will choose this address. I guess it's just a random address. Yes. Um. Yeah, we'll do mail, whatever. Okay, so I'm pretty sure you just enter random info because they don't really check for info since everything's free. So, <laughs> just put whatever you want. I'm just gonna do what um, the demonstration 
was. And there you go. So now, confirm the order, zero yen. Yes, I would love to order, because it's free. And it's gonna make me get 30 of them. Your order is complete. Okay, cool. So now it should email them to my email address. Okay, I'll, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go to my email. Okay, look at this. Would you look at that? Check this out. Wow. Okay, so it actually sent me my Digicam order. So I'm gonna download this. And then we're gonna go here, and I'm gonna try and print it. I'm not even joking. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Print. Uh, your pictures can't be printed because this error occurred. An internal error occurred? <laughs> oh no. Uh... <laughs> Um, okay, let's see, can it f- oh. Uh, it, why? Okay. Please be quick. This is really annoying. No. <laughs> it won't load. No! <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm gonna try it from my phone, because I have my email set up on my phone. Oh, choose a device or printer to add to this PC, searching for devices. Wow, this is very complicated, just for a paper card. <laughs> I'm still listening to the Digicam print channel music, and oh my god, it's a bop! Yeah, I think I'm better off not doing that. <laughs> Okay, so I can just download it somewhere else. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Here, you know what? Since I downloaded it, I'm gonna send it to Squid, who I spammed to try and mod his Wii. Um, okay. I'm gonna... If it'll let me upload a file. There you go. Let's go to Downloads, and let's do the business card. There you go. <laughs> he gets my free bra card. <laughs> okay, cool. Nice, alright. Well, <laughs> you guys get to see what it looks like right there, but I'm gonna actually print it off and show you it works, so I'll be back on my phone showing you guys the print. Okay guys, sorry for the printer noise, but check that out. It actually printed. That's amazing, hold on. Whoa, okay, there you go, got it. Look at that, that's crazy. Well, that's what you can do with the Digicam print channel. Just random stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'll show off the Wii Room channel in a separate video because this video is going on too long. But thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye. Okay, guys. I was literally just checking to see what is going on with the stuff here with the services and not only did they had a whole bunch of services since I had last checked but also apparently Digicam print is in full release Wii Room is still in public beta and they also added the Kirby TV channel which is pretty interesting the Demay channel is actually in closed beta which I already knew about and the TV no Tomo channel is in development, even though I said that it had nothing worked on. That's because I looked at someone who was showing off the service like a couple months ago, and that was before they started working on these channels here, and before they even announced they were going to work on the Kirby TV channel or um, the YouTube channel. Um, I did know about this though, thanks to a video by one of the developers on YouTube, they said that they had actually found uh, someone who had f discovered this channel, but currently it's halted because they need a very specific file on an SD card that no one has found yet, so it's currently halted till they find that, but wow, that's, um, that's really cool. Um, like I said, Wii Room Go um is it had nothing worked on back then but now it's halted but yeah that's pretty cool 
I have no idea what the Mina No Theater Wii is, but it's in development too. So hopefully we get the Demay channel this year. If we do, I'll tell you guys how to install it. Obviously, I'll refer you guys back in that video on how t onto my old video where I showed off how to install Wii Link, but yeah, the Demay channel is in closed beta and let's hope it comes out this year. So yeah. Thank you all for watching the video for real this time, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye!